This is my first solo backpacking trip. I've done some uh, solo hikes, but I have never actually backpacked by myself. So my dad is going with me on this trip. Uh, he dropped me off and went camping. He just pulls chocolate chip cookies out of his pocket. So I guess mom had made some and he just grabbed a handful and stuck them in his pocket to eat on the way. Uh, we stopped at Walmart and got him a fishing license because he likes to fish. So he dropped me off on the trail. So I decided to switch from a hammock to a tarp, mainly because of weight. Uh, I got my tarp at Yama Mountain Gear, and before I went, I set it up in a couple variations in the backyard. My favorite one, my favorite setup was the modified Holden. That's what I'm calling it. It's kind of like a mix between a Holden and the tarp tent. It's just a little easier to do than the tarp tent. So that is the setup that I used for this trip, was the modified Holden. You can see on this one how it has like a little tent in the back and then you can pull those front flaps down to close it up if you want to. I got the setups from Mom Goes Camping, a site I just found, I googled and found the site. And she had a lot of pictures, instructions, really, really simple so you didn't have to sit there and read and try to figure stuff out. Despite all my meticulous planning, I actually got on the trail three hours later than I thought I would or I would hoped I would because we had some fuses blown in the car we had to fix. So when I started hiking again, we started this thing called the kidnap picture where you take a picture of what you're wearing and you send it to somebody. And that way, if anything happens, uh, there is a picture of what you were wearing, what you look like, a very recent picture. And we've just kept that up throughout the years. It's kind of our little inside joke now. And don't forget to send a kidnap picture. For this trip, I really wanted to focus on ca capturing nature and not just rocks, trees, and trail. But as you see, I have already failed. I hope I don't bore you with these uh, less interesting videos of more of pictures with some with a little bit of narration here and there. But I will be getting back to my regular videos like I posted earlier. The thing is, is that I had gone on these hikes before I started uh, video recording. Please don't unsubscribe. This is me rushing past the rice field shelter. I didn't stop to see it. And so I had just gotten on the trail and I didn't want to take the time out of it because I do like stopping and seeing the shelters. Do you know that moment when you're an adult and all of a sudden you realize that you can go out and buy a pack of cookies and eat it or you can eat cake whenever you want to and there's no rules anymore about that? That is how I felt when I got to this clearing here and realized that I was hiking by myself. I didn't have anyone with me. And even though I do enjoy hiking with my hiking friends, it was just such a different feeling. Uh, that I had never experienced before hiking.
question of the day. Can I get 15.3 miles hiked with a 1 p.m. start? And I was planning to start at 10 o'clock. I think there's a drunk hiker around here because I keep running into these raspberry bushes and they're all trampled down like something just someone just crashed through them. I mean, what else would be crashing through the raspberry bushes? Made it to camp. Got in a little before eight o'clock. I'd set up the tarp and pretending like I knew that uh, what I was doing, that I had done this a hundred times already. But it actually didn't take, uh, it wasn't that difficult to get it set up. And I uh, set up on a little campsite below the shelter. And there was another sh uh, section hiker that was camped right next to where I was. And there were several through hikers that were up in the shelter.